Sisters, do they matter? Let's find out. Uh, okay, so uh, you guitarists are very interested in transistors, and I understand that. Some of that probably has to do with the fact that they do seem kind of magic, and uh, some of them are pretty, which doesn't make it easier. So let's talk about it. In most circuits, I think you can use pretty much any transistor as long as it meets the requirements needed to operate. Uh, and that's a pretty vast range. Uh, there are some circuits, however, where the um, specific transistor does have an impact on the sound. And one traditionally classic example of this is the fuzz phase. So I thought, let's load up four different doubles with four different pairs of transistors and see if we can tell the difference. Want to do that? Let's do it. So, from right to left, we have a 2N2222A. That's a modern transistor, kind of medium gain, um, in a vintage looking uh, case. It's like a little top hat, a little metal top hat. Look, looks like it's made out of zinc. Um, and then you have the BC549C, which is a C means it's at the higher end of the um, uh, gain range in terms of if you have like maybe a thousand transistors and then you sort through them and uh, these are sorted through at the factory and, and they come in A and B and C and the C range is the higher end. The BC549 is in the lineage of the BC108 and, and 109 which are like the traditional original um, fast phase transistors alongside of the 209 and also the BC183L or 84L, I don't remember, uh, which are not in the same, or maybe they are, I don't know. Um, but in any case, these are like British style, old school transistors. But the 549C is the, I think, second or third most recent uh, iteration of this family line before they moved on to the T8, no, SMD version of the same transistor. Um, it's supposedly lower noise, but you know, we'll see about that. Then you have the 109C, um, originally found in some fuzz faces from like the late 60s into the 70s, I believe, but I don't know, I've never seen them, so I can't tell. I've never fondled any vintage fuzz faces. But in any case, this one is also modern, but in a sort of top hat uh, case, same as the 2222. So it looks good and it sounds good. Then there's the 209, comes in a little black plastic P cap thing, golden legs, beautiful. This is an actual vintage transistor. It's not very expensive, but it's about like 20 times more expensive than the uh, BC549C. 
So there's that. same um, so I suppose that's that no um, there are some differences very tiny ones I think the 2222 is overall the best choice and that's why I went for that one for the regular production of um, a the 549 seems a bit more high fidelity it seems uh, like broader range I don't know if it's lower noise we'll test that uh, but it feels more precise. The 109 and the 209 feel pretty similar but the but yeah they're, they're both sort of lower range lower sort of frequency range than either of the more modern uh, transistors. But yeah let's let's try a noise floor. <laughs> So yeah, the, the, the vintage one is, is definitely noisier. I think the 549 is slightly slightly cleaner than, than 109. And the 2222 is ever so slightly cleaner than the 549, that's surprising. Yeah, but you know, all manageable, even the 209. So that's that. Let's hear it. Um, let's hear them all with the guitar volume lowered. <laughs> phase I'm, I'm always looking for those sort of lower deeper string double stop things to to look for that sort of creaking door kind of woodsy I don't know what to call it like these well listen to it <laughs> of it. 
That's kind of it, right? They're the same. The 2222 has a little less noise. The 209, it looks cooler when you open the box and it's vintage and it has pedigree, you know? The 109 is kind of just feels like a more expensive version of the 2222. And the 549 is kind of the one that sticks out a bit by being a little bit more precise and maybe you like that uh, you know maybe you don't but in any case I don't think it matters even on a phosphase so I think that's that for today and uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time let me know if you want to see this stuff I mean I've I can I can figure out stuff you know or you can suggest things for me in any case thanks and goodbye